Hey everybody, it's Chris with Xano, and today I'm super excited to show you our brand new branch merging features. This has been a long requested feature and we're super excited to finally have it available for you today. This is a huge step forward in what is considered a more traditional development environment. It's especially going to come in handy when you are iterating features in your backend or working with a team. So let's jump right into Xano so I can show you how this works. So here I am in Xano looking at a list of my APIs. In this workspace, I have a single API endpoint, which just has one step in it, which is to create a new variable. Now, let's say I want to create a new branch so I can iterate on this API without impacting my live APIs. I'm gonna go over here to the left and I'm going to click add new branch. Now, the first change that you'll see here is that we are given the option to either start from an existing branch or create a new empty branch. This can be useful if you are separating different features by specific branches. For this example, we're going to use our existing V1 branch and our new branch is going to be labeled V2. We'll click create. And now we can go back to the API and we can make our changes. So let's go ahead and click into this API endpoint. I'm going to add a new step and we're just going to create a new variable. We'll click save. And now we want to make sure that we publish our changes. It is important that you publish any changes that you want to populate in the branches that you merge with. So we'll click publish. And now we can go back over to our branch selector in the left hand side menu. And what we want to do is we want to merge these branches. We want to merge our changes from V2 back into V1. So let's click Merge Branches. The first question that we're asked is to select the branch that will be used as the source of the merge. So where are my changes coming from? My changes are coming from V2, so we'll click on that. And then we need to select the destination branch that will receive the changes, which is going to be our V1 branch. So we'll click V1. We're given a list of all of the functions, tasks, add-ons, and API endpoints that have changes made. And we can go ahead and click Publish. So our branch merge is complete. And you can see it says here we're still editing branch V2. So if everything worked correctly, when we go back to our V1 branch, we should see this new create variable step in the same API endpoint. So let's check that. We'll switch over to our V1 branch. And now we'll go back to our API. And you can see in the V1 branch, we now have that change populated. So we've successfully merged our changes to the V1 branch. Now let's switch back to the V2 branch. And let's create a new API endpoint that I can later merge into my V1 branch. So I'm going to add a new API endpoint. I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to call this API2. And we'll save that. And let's just go ahead and add a create variable step in here. We'll save this. And now let's say we're done. We can go over to our branch selector here. And we can click Merge Branches. Again, my source for these changes is version two, and my destination is version one. Oh, but it looks like we have a little bit of an issue here. You can see that it says merges are unable to take place if the merge contains drafts in the source or destination branches. So essentially what this means is we will need to go back and publish the draft for API two before we can proceed with the branch merge. So let's go ahead and hit our publish button. And let's go back and proceed with our branch merge. You can see we have API2 is listed as a new API endpoint. And we'll go ahead and publish that. We will switch back to our V1 branch. And now we can see that both of these endpoints are present in our V1 branch. Now let's talk a little bit more about the requirement to publish your changes before you merge your branches. Well, let's say we are working in our V2 branch here, and we are going to do two things. We're going to make a change to API2, 
I'm going to add another create variable step here. And for this one, I'm going to publish my changes. And I'm going to add a brand new API endpoint. I'm going to call this API3. We will add a step to this. And we are not going to publish our changes. So we have made a change to API2 and we've published that change. And we've also created a brand new API endpoint that is just a draft. We have not published this yet. We're still working on this one. But we want to go ahead and merge the changes from API2 into our V1. So let's go back to merge branches. Our source is V2, our destination is V1. And you can see here, we are again presented with the message that says that we cannot publish anything that has a draft attached to it. However, we can click this icon here on the right hand side of our queries box. And we can deselect our API 3 because that is the API endpoint that has a current draft. API 2 is published and ready to go. So we'll just unselect API 3 and click update. And you can see that warning is gone because we're not trying to publish anything that has a current draft attached. And we can go ahead and publish our changes. So what that means is we give you granular selection so you can choose specifically which functions, tasks, add-ons, and API endpoints to merge with your destination branch. It's not an all or nothing kind of thing. You have that control. So that's all there is to it. We really hope you find the new branch merging features helpful. Please make sure to leave a comment down in the description if you have any questions. You can also reach out to us via support chat in Zeno or on the Zeno community. Thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next one.